Hello, CFA Nation, Gabe, and I'm here today bringing you guys another reaction. It's actually a solo reaction. My West Indies, man, I'm so pumped about my West Indies. Somebody reached out, sent Nick and I this video, so I'm going to be reacting to this one myself today. And today we're going to be reacting to Sylvester Clark, right, the forgotten West Indies fast bowler. Now, again, I recently uh, talked about that historic win the West Indies had, all right, um, versus Bangladesh. And I referenced um, the documentary Fire in Babylon, right? Because I was, fi I mean, I was fired up, you know, because people were online before that when the West Indies had gotten beat down by uh, New Zealand and people were talking about Calypso. And I remember hearing that in the video, like Calypso, like, listen, ain't no, nothing sweet over here, man. It, it, it's nothing soft about us. <laughs> You've been in a, we, we're nice people, but listen, we don't, we, you know, we, we show up, we show up to play. Again, we're talking about the four horsemen, right? We're talking about some of the best fast uh, bowlers in West Indies history. Uh, we got Colin Croft, Michael Holden, um, Viv Richards, Sir Viv Richards, excuse me. Okay. And, you know, uh, 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 there was a lot of controversy surrounding these guys. And these guys went in and just basically brought West Indies back to respectability. And I was saying that's what I feel like is going on right now with this huge uh, uh, momentum shift the West Indies have gained, you know, over the last two ma uh, over the last two matches. I'm really impressed with Bonner. You know, he's in the second inning, in the second innings in that, well, I should say in the second test match, he's still raking, doing his thing. And I'm like, all right, you know, we got some guys, uh, Shannon, Gabriel, Azari Joseph. Like, listen, we're going to show up and we're going to play. We're going to show up and we're going to play. Not to mention Meyer with his 200 uh, uh, um, runs last time. So I, I am excited for West Indies. But there's been a tons of players, I'm sure, that weren't mes mentioned in that documentary, Fire and Babylon, that helped the West Indies become who they were. And today we're exploring, and I'm assuming one of these, it looks like it's about the same um, time period. Never heard of him. Sylvester, once again, um, Sylvester Clark. So we're going to check out this video and see, this is another Robolinda video. Robolinda, thank you for giving us permission to view your videos. If you guys already haven't done so, please go like and subscribe to Robolinda. He's got some great videos on there. And while you're here, go ahead and do the same. All right, people. We're gonna go ahead and bust this out in three, two, one. Change in the bowling. Michael Holding has finished his first spell. So obviously they just mentioned Michael Holding. That means he they bowled at the same time. Fifteen runs came from eight overs and Sylvester Clark. Just come on now. I don't think Sylvester Clark has bowled from that southern end. Yeah, Colin yeah, Croft, Viv Richards, sheet, Garner. So. That's all the guys right there. Yeah. So that's interesting that I don't remember him, been, uh, them mentioning him in that video, uh, all the way Fire in Babylon. Dyson's taking strike. Good 50 to John Dyson. Made 100 at Headingley on the last tour of England. And then finally was um, pushed out of the side to make way for Dirk Wellham. So. It's going to be Sylvester Clark to John Dyson. Sylvester Clark with his next delivery here. Man, he's in the same vein as those other West Indies fast bowlers, you can tell. Got that powerful run up. He's a big dude. You can see through the through his test shirt. Muscular dude, man. Very big man, Sylvester Clark. Thick set. Not quite the pace of the other West Indian fast bowlers. Great ball there. Actually, he's bowled slower this match than I've ever seen him. See quite a bit of him in uh, English county cricket and limited over games. 
playing for Surrey. And he's always been appreciably quicker than he has been here. Interesting. They're talking about his diminished strength. I wonder if that was an injury due to an injury. Oof. He got pumped for six there. Yeah, Colin Croft uh, isn't too happy down the fence there. And uh, we may be able to see here. Ooh. It's a sign of a lot of confidence from John Dyson. Hook shot is not one. Oh, that was a boundary. It was just a boundary. It looked like a, a six. Off. So just four that runs. Okay. Well. But you could tell that uh, they're able to get to him. So I think it was just that Croft lost it in the background. And uh, I wasn't quite sure where it had gone for a moment or two. And the end just ambled after it. 100 up. Back in the day, changing those score. Look at that pitch. That is ridiculous. Look at the cracks in that pitch, guys. Wow. So, you know, quick video there. Um, to be honest, you know, guys, we didn't get to really see a lot of him. There was just three, I think, three deliveries we actually saw. And uh, commentators were mentioning that he wasn't quite as fast. Didn't take any wickets there. A um, little bit different video than I expected. Um, let me know in the, comment, in the comments if you know about this guy. Was he hurt? Is there a reason he was left out of that documentary in Fire in Babylon? Um, you know, obviously he, they, they, they mentioned in the video that he had been uh, bowling a lot slower than, he, re than um, he used to. So maybe this is towards the, the tail end of his career. But I'm sure there's been a lot of great um, players in West Indies histories that just with all the other names, you know, think about the batsmen, right? The Brian Lara's of the world, you know, there's going to be other great batsmen that are just forgotten. And unfortunately that happens, you know, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 40, right? So I show my age and I got these young kids now talking about how, you know, LeBron is the greatest of all time. And, you know, how this generation has the best players and they got some great players, but you, how do you forget a guy, about a guy like Michael Jordan? How do you forget about a guy like Allen Iverson, who literally, you know, they made, they changed the rules in the NBA because of Allen Iverson, because he crossed Jordan up. Like, he reinvented the crossover. Uh, uh, some of the greats that we had back then. So, you know, unfortunately, time does that, right? You forget about the stars. You forget about the guys from years past. But, um, yeah, let's let me know in the comments if you guys remember um, Clark. Let me know what you think. Renee, you're the, our resident expert. You're our resident West Indies expert. So let me know what you think about um, Clark, what happened to him, and any other old school players like that. I always love to look at some of the legends and, and some of the film on them, especially from the, my West Indies. Um, in any event, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Again, don't forget to leave a like uh, um, and subscribe to this video. And until next time, that's six runs.